Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how to mount your photograph to a wood panel so you can apply wax, gel, resin, whatever. Um, and how to prep your panel and get it ready for uh, your photograph. What I like to do is uh, take my panel. I get, I get my panels from um, uh, Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. It's an online store. Uh, great place to get stuff. And... Uh, they're pretty cheap. What I'm going to be using today is uh, it's a half inch cradle. So these are really cheap. They're like $3 each or $4 each or something. Uh, the more you buy, the cheaper they are. Economy of scale. Uh, for uh, my, the work that I do do for gallery work is a two inch cradle. And let's see if I have one of those. Yeah. So here's. The difference you see the back it's two inches deep as opposed to this half inch one uh, these are slightly more expensive but still it's not bad um, it can get expensive if you start buying really large sizes so what I what I do is I start by uh, prepping my panel by using some uh, wood stain. And the stain I get, it, I just get it from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, doesn't matter. I get that. I've already stained these, but I'll show you what I'm doing. And I just stain the sides. And then that's, that's it, really. Let it set and dry, and then you're good to go. The next step, is mounting your photograph. Now, I get a lot of questions on how to mount your photograph, what kind of paper I use, or a mounting adhesive. This is a dry mount. It's a 3M product. This is a 16 inch roll, 16 inches wide by 50 feet, I think. It's about 70 bucks on Cheap, cheap Joe's. You can get it at B&H. You can get it at any good, into, uh, well, not independent, but any really good art store, like a Sam Flax, a Utrecht, Dick Blick, Binder, something like that, you're going to find it. Um, it. It comes in, as far as I know, 16 inches wide and 24 inches wide. Um, and it's great stuff. So, you just take it. I'll put a link to the paper, or to the adhesive, in the description. So you can find where to buy it. So I put it down, just like this. I use a razor blade to cut the excess off. Now, when you buy this paper, this uh, adhesive, you're going to get a blue spatula scoring thing with it, with, with each roll. Now, what I'll do is go one direction and then the other direction. Now what you want to really make sure you do is you get the edges. You want to push really hard and get these edges really well. It's very important to get an even cover. And now when you pull it off, I pull away from, I start from the away corner and I pull towards me. Now I've missed some spots right here. When you do that, Cut your paper a little larger than you need, and you can come back in, lay down that part. Like so, and get it put down. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next, we're gonna mount our, our photograph. I got a photograph of a friend of mine named Weston Manders. He's a uh, theater actor. Now, when you make your print, these are 12 inch panels. When you make your print, make it a little larger than the actual panel. And you can use your hands to push this down with. Uh, that roll of adhesive that you're gonna get is gonna come with something 
that will allow you to lay on top like so and then do like this you can also use the piece of adhesive you use just use the back side of it the non-adhesive side and you can do that that way you can use the spatula don't ever use the spatula directly on top of the photograph because you can scratch it and and damage your photograph and you don't want that okay so <clears throat> excuse me so now your photograph is mounted to your paper or your board use a razor blade and trim the edges just drag it along the side I don't like to start all the way at the edge I like to start a little bit and then drag all the way to one edge and then come back and grab this this edge do the same thing here see I didn't push I didn't push it down hard enough onto the panel so it came up a little bit okay so that's that now you can come back in and the edge of the photograph is white now what I'll do is I'll go in with some stain and I'll restain it so I get the edge of that photograph that white knocked down so it's not as distracting when it's on the wall now this is up to you to do I can't tell you what if you're making making something and you do this I can't tell you what it's gonna do to the photograph in 30 years um, I'm going to assume which is probably a bad idea that it's going to be okay because it's going to be sealed up under a layer of wax or gel or resin or, or whatever your material is don't worry about going up on top of the photograph you can wipe that off later and it'll come right up the photographic paper that I use is smooth pearl let me show you the box it's right here this this is what I use it's um it's great for holding putting wax on and stuff like that and it's fully archival uh, what you don't ever want to use is matte paper uh, you can't use gel or resin or wax on matte paper because it's going to make it look like a greasy napkin and you don't want that that's how you mount your photograph to your panel uh, everything that uh, you need to know to go where to get the things that i'm using i will put in the description and good luck mm -hmm.